Hey everyone, this is Chris. I just finished recording the first video of this deck for this week, so here is round number two. Uh, I am going to take my Elrond Gondor deck to the Watcher in the Water, because I kind of feel like using the ridiculous number of allies to kill the Watcher. Uh, and my initial staging card is a Mountain Warg, which, if you know me and have watched any of these videos, is probably going to stay in the staging area for forever. Uh, and my opening hand after a mulligan is not amazing. But maybe I'll... well, that's pretty good. So let's 1-2 can play an Envoy of Pelagir. Uh, I will add that resource to Elrond's resource pool. 1-2 for a second Envoy. Uh, add another one to Elrond's pool. One, two, three, lets me play a linear sea captain, meaning that it and Elrond will not exhaust to quest this round. So let's quest one, four, five, six. Uh, and I'm gonna put that resource on Theodrid for the time being, just in case I really need to sneak attack. All right, uh, Striking Tentacle and <laughs> Mountain Warg. So I sent six up against four. That is two progress. I don't have to engage the Mountain Warg, but I do have to engage the Striking Tentacle. Uh, so let me defend the Tentacle with Denethor. This is probably going to kill a hero. It is. All right, Denethor. You were great, but I don't actually need you in order to fight off tentacles. So, two, three, four damage kills the striking tentacle. Oh, wait, hang on. That was not what I meant to do. So that was the shadow effect. Uh, all right, this was the shadow effect. We're supposed to discard the top card. It does not have a shadow or a tentacle. So I was wrong. Denethor, you are great. Welcome back. You only took one damage from that attack, and I still have enough to kill the Striking Tentacle. Apparently it's kind of important to read the cards before you do the things that they say. All right, on to the next round. It's not really inspiring an awful lot of courage at the moment. Here is a Pelagir ship captain uh, sliding this resource over to Elrond. I can spend one for a Citadel custodian now that there are four other Gondor allies in play. And I'm running out of sneak attack options, but you know, we'll make do. This is the round that I also have to engage the Mountain Warg. So let's quest one, two, three. Yep, I'm gonna send three to the quest, put that resource on Theodrid. All right, so up against five, my threat is going to raise by two. I can travel to turbulent waters, no problem. I'm not planning on optionally engaging this enemy, I'm planning on actually engaging this enemy. I need six attack to kill it, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. All of these characters basically all right, let me defend with Elrond. Attacking enemy gets plus two, so Elrond is going to take three damage. One, two, three. Not my favorite. I have one, two, three, four to fight back, which does two points of damage. I think perhaps the next one is going to be taken by a Citadel Custodian. Guaranteed to die, but I can live with that. And we are on to the next round. Well, Squire of the Citadel is a nice inclusion, as is Faramir. I will send one, two, three to the quest again, putting that resource on Theodrid. Revealing. Makeshift passage. All right, uh, my three up against one is two progress. 
just enough to clear turbulent waters. I will travel to makeshift passage, which gives me a free two progress, which sounds great. And I get a mountain warg. Uh, we're gonna defend this one with Squire of the Citadel, who is gonna die, giving me a resource. Uh, yeah, Theodred can take it. Uh, but I can't fight back because now the mountain warg is back in the staging area. Okay, healing or Gandalf, let's go. That's neither. Well, I can 1 2 play a guard of the citadel. Just to get a little more willpower out there. I'm going to commit Elrond to this quest. Uh, as well as the Lin here, Sea Captain. So, 4, 5, 6. Putting this resource on Elrond. We reveal. Wrapped. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will put Wrapped on Theodrid, because I am definitely planning on <laughs> using Denethor to clear that tentacle attachment out. So, my 6. Up against two is four progress. One, two, three, four. Engagement, I have to engage the Mountain Warg yet again. Now we move into combat, where I will discard this Wrapped with Denethor. Uh, all right. I have lots of throwaway ally options. Let me defend with Citadel Custodian, who will die, and the Warg goes back to the staging area. All right, next round, there's a thing. Awesome, one, two, here is a Steward of Gondor on Elrond, gains two resources, and then spends four for Boromir. Boromir is not enough to deal with this Mountain Warg defense-wise, but his attack strength should come in handy. So once again, I will send six to the quest, uh, adding a resource to Elrond. Revealing a thrashing tentacle. Okay. All right, I sent six up against four. That is one, two progress. Clearing out the makeshift passage, I am forced to engage both of these enemies. Shadow, shadow. Uh, Denethor will defend the thrashing tentacle. Takes no damage. And at this point, I think I'm going to have an Envoy of Pelargear defend this Mountain Warg attack. She dies, and the Warg returns to the staging area. Let's have Boromir attack the Thrashing Tentacle. So, it's a tentacle. That means that Boromir is going to do his damage to a character I control. Uh, might as well have him do it to himself, which readies him, at least. And that is all I can do until the next round. Just two more resources. Uh, one, two, we're gonna have very good tail. Shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I have eight, so we're gonna grab a guard of the Citadel and a Gandalf. These all get discarded. Uh, Gandalf is going to draw me three cards. One, two, three. That's a phenomenal three cards. One, two. Here is a Mablum. Um, and I am not going to deal with that. There's nothing wrong with leaving the Mountain Warg in the staging area, honestly. Yep, okay. Let me quest. Send my six yet again. 
up against two in the staging area. There's a doomed five to make me 41. One, two, three, four. I am forced to engage the Mountain Warg yet again. Uh, Gandalf will defend that attack. Which is actually a really tame shadow effect. Gandalf takes no damage. Uh, Thrashing Tentacle, Denethor will defend. And I remove a progress token. Man, that is not a shadow that matters at all. Uh, one, two, three, four is enough to kill the Mountain Warg, finally. Uh, and I don't have enough damage to deal with this Thrashing Tentacle, so let's just not... Uh, that's not true. Let me try and put one damage on Thrashing Tentacle. Nope. Uh, that damage is going to spill over onto Gandalf, because he's about to go away. And we move on to the next round with a Gandalf in the discard pile. And one, two for a Defender of Ramas, who will help me deal with this Thrashing Tentacle. I think this round I will probably sneak in a Gandalf. So let's do some questing. I will send eight. Wrapped goes on Theodred, and I make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight progress. Moving on to stage two. Watcher of the Water is added to the staging area. Doors of Durin is made the active location. Shuffle all the tentacles back into the encounter deck. I'm gonna do that, be right back. All right, I am back. I have done what needs to be done. I can optionally engage the Watcher in the water because there are no... Oh, never mind. There's another tentacle in play. No, I cannot do that. And I guess this is a tentacle too, so... Fun and exciting. Uh, engagement, can't do anything, so combat. I will sneak in a Gandalf during combat. I will draw three cards. One, two, three. Those are fine cards to draw. <sighs> and I'll have this Defender of Ramas defend the Thrashing Tentacle. Takes no damage. Uh, Denethor will remove this Wrapped. And I can have Boromir attack the Thrashing Tentacle. See if we get it. We don't. So Boromir is going to do three damage to Gandalf. What a jerk. Yeah, pretty much all there is to it. What a jerk. All right, end of combat. Uh, Gandalf is going to return to my hand. And the Watcher in the Water is going to do three damage to one of my characters. I will choose the Envoy of Pelargir, who is simply destroyed. All right, uh, let's move on to the next round as my threat climbs ever higher. That's a great card to get though, because I can one, two, here is a Warden of Healing. I'm uh, gonna heal with the Warden and spend two to ready him. So that is two damage, two damage. And we can heal again, clearing out Elrond and Denethor. Uh, it means I am a lot safer than I was before. One, two, three plays a second Lin here Sea Captain, allowing me to quest without exhausting Elrond. I only need to make five progress and, you know, deal with one of these things. So. Let's quest. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there's four in the staging area right now, so that is absolutely fine. Uh, Theodred's resource is going on Elrond. All right, eight up against six. That is two progress on the Seething Lake. Uh, 
Yep, okay, I am forced to engage this striking tentacle. This order. Shadow, shadow. Uh, this tentacle is probably going to kill a hero, which is not very exciting. So let me... One, to sneak in a Gandalf. I will delete the striking tentacle. Yep, that would have been a hero dead. Uh, we can have Denethor defend this thrashing tentacle, taking no damage. Uh, Boromir will attack the thrashing tentacle. Maybe I will kill it. Nope. I'll put that free damage on Elrond. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, end of the combat phase. I'm gonna put this three damage on Gandalf before he comes back to my hand. Hmm. I guess I'm really just hoping for Striking Tentacle when I discard the Steward of Gondor, but I'd like to have more cards in my hand first. So, threat level 44, moving up to the next round. You know, I think I'm just going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Play Gandalf. Dealing 1, 2, 3, 4 damage to a Thrashing Tentacle. And I'm going to save this Guard of the Citadel because I know that Grasping Tentacle is one of the options. So, questing. Uh, one. Five. Uh, I guess we'll make that eight again. Ooh, and I get a Mountain Warg. And a look at the Encounter deck. So, look at all cards. There isn't one in here, but I have Grasping Tentacle, Black Oryx, Wrapped Black Oryx, Ill Purpose, Bitter Wind, Thrashing Mount. Oh, there's a mountain. All right, there's a mountain. Grasping Stair. So that's an option for Steward, Stagnant Creek. Two Striking Tentacles, a Grasping Tentacle, Stagnant Creek, Perilous Swamp, Thrashing. Bitterwind, Black Oryx, Black Oryx, Disturbed Waters. Okay, so my eight committed to the quest up against seven is one progress. <sighs> All right, well, Warglare is just gonna stay here and based on what I saw, I am going to attempt during this travel phase to open the doors of Durin. I have a pretty decent shot with both of these. Turbulent waters. Nope. That's not right. It's okay though. Uh, Mountain Warg is going to come down and I can optionally engage the Watcher. So I will. But we are quite close to not having to optionally engage the Watcher, just in case that wasn't clear. All right. Guess I will have Denethor defend this Mountain Warg. He takes one damage and the Mountain Warg returns to the staging area. Hmm. Do one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen right now is not enough to actually kill the Watcher. Uh, but I can get it with Gandalf. So let me defend with Defender of Ramas. Removing a progress token. And losing my Defender. So, once again, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Adds up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage to the Watcher, who I should be able to kill next round with no problems. Especially if I use Gandalf to put damage on it. Alright, let me heal with the Warden of Healing. 1, 2, 3. 
Uh, end of the round, Gandalf is going to be discarded. And we move on to the next round. Uh, the Watcher heals two damage because that's what he does. Uh, let me be a little ridiculous. Uh, during the resource phase, before planning, play sneak attack, dropping a Gandalf into play. Going to do... Uh, no. I'm going to drop my threat. No, wait. I looked at the encounter deck. Uh, there aren't any of the doomed five cards left, so let's just put four damage on the Watcher. One, two, three, four. And then Gandalf comes back in my hand, ready. One, two, three, four, five. To be played during planning. Where I can do one, two, three, four damage to the Watcher, sending him to the victory display. And now all I have to do is make progress yet again. <laughs> so, uh, there's, what, three in the staging area? Let's just quest all out. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 33, and 32. It's not quite as big of a swarm as the last one because we keep losing them to tentacles, but I'm pretty sure we've got it. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure we lose. Uh, yes. It is not a tentacle enemy. So we're safe. <laughs> At 45 threat. Alright, my 32 up against 6 is a whopping 26 progress. Blows way past the 5 that we need to clear the seething lake. We did not open the doors, but we have all the time in the world because the Watcher is dead. <laughs> uh, I'll admit, that, uh, that almost did not go the way I wanted it to. <laughs> But I killed the Watcher, and I'm always happy about that. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.